Hey everyone, and welcome back to another beautiful episode right here on 2020 Flight Simmers. On today's episode, we're going to be walking through how to take your SimBrief flight plan as well as your little NavMaps flight plan and input them right here into Microsoft Flight Simulator. So if you are new to the channel and don't want to miss out on any of these future videos, go down there and hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell while you're down there. Smash on that thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. So if you want to know more about how to import your flight plan into Microsoft Flight Simulator, then stay tuned right here on 2020 Flight Simmers. All right, everyone, thanks for joining us today, and we're going to go over how to import your flight plan from SimBrief and Little Nav Maps. We're not going to go over how to create a flight plan in either of these. We're just going to keep this simple, and we're going to presume you've already created your flight plan and are unsure of how to bring that into Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's pretty easy with SimBrief. All you need to do is go all the way down to the bottom after you have generated your flight plan, and all you're going to do is go down and find the FS2020. Then all you need to do is go over and click that download button. It's going to go ahead and download that in your browser. So now we're going to talk about the little nav maps, how to import that into Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is going to be a little bit different. So when you click on file and you go down to export flight plan, it's going to bring up this dialog box here because this actually allows you to select a start position. So all you need to do is go ahead and click start position and you can pick where you want to start from your departure airport. So all you need to do is click on that, hit OK, and then it'll go ahead and prompt you to save that flight plan here. And I have all mine going down into my download. Now both of those flight plans are downloaded into my downloads here. And now we need to figure out how do we get them into Microsoft Flight Simulator because there's no button for it anymore. Well, here we go. If you go down to the bottom and hit the more button, uh-oh, there you go. So you hit the load and save button. It will bring up this here prompt to hit load. You tap on the load. You go to where you have downloaded your files. You click on it, hit open, and bada bing, bada boom, there is your flight plan entered right in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And as you can see, this was our flight plan from Little Nav Map, and it has our starting at gate A1, which is pretty cool, so you don't have to automatically set that, so you don't accidentally go ahead and hit fly and start you out in the beginning of the runway. So if this video helped you out today, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Also, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell. And as always... Keep the blue side up. We will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone.